Today I want to share with you guys a little news regarding Xmonad. Xmonad is a tiling window manager, it's my favorite tiling window manager, and it's what I'm basing DTOS around. And because of that, I follow Xmonad development rather closely. If you go to their website at xmonad.org and you click on what's new, the blog down here, the very first blog is Xmonad and Xmonad-Contrib 0.17.0 are now available. And this blog post was about two weeks ago. And this is the first release of Xmonad and xmonad-contrib in like three years so it's a huge release for the xmonad project a lot of work has gone into this in the last three years major improvements major changes new libraries that you can now uh, import such as now there's going to be an xmonad prompt org mode so i guess now we can have an xmonad prompt that interacts with org mode in some way i guess for your to do information your notes your agendas looks like there's going to be new modules for status bar stuff I know now they're going to make it easier to have clickable workspaces and your Xmo bar and things like that. Xmonad.hooks.windowswallowing is a, uh, a feature that was requested by a whole bunch of you guys about a year and a half ago. And actually it was implemented into Xmonad-Contrib like a week after I made that video about uh, how to do window swallowing in Xmonad using a third party program. The Xmonad guys actually figured out how to just do that in Xmonad itself like the next week. Now apparently it wasn't a very big fix, but we haven't had the actual release of Xmonad-Contrib until just a couple of weeks ago, so I've been waiting for like a year and a half to be able to use the window swallowing module. So a lot of work went into the new release, and right now, even though it's two weeks since the official release of 0.17 in Arch Linux, they're still on 0.15, the previous release of Xmonad. I've been waiting for about two weeks, hoping that the new version would come out before I needed to make this video but I've waited about two weeks Arch is still on the old version so I'm, I'm not gonna show you guys 0 0.17 on camera today because I'm not going to even though I can compile Xmonad 0 0.17 myself you know it's probably gonna break my old configs so I'll have to update my configs but many of you guys are using my configs <laughs> it's gonna break the configs for you because you guys are probably still gonna be using Xmonad the version from the official Arch repositories so I'm gonna wait on the Arch repositories to actually ship 0 0.17 before moving to it, but the reason I'm making today's video is not to show you guys Xmonad 0.17, it's that the Xmonad developers, they put in a ton of work on this, I mean, they're under active development all the time, helping improve Xmonad, and I know many of you guys use Xmonad, I use Xmonad on a daily basis, and these guys are putting out a call for action. The first thing they're asking for is they're having a logo contest, they want to announce a contest to create a new Xmonad logo to replace the current one so if you guys have got some serious artistic skills please submit a logo and guess what they're actually offering a prize to the winner they will pay the winner a hundred dollars and that's really cool and another thing they're doing is they're looking for funding because you know it's not easy to keep a project like Xmonad going because Xmonad needs you know it needs a lot of work for one thing one of the things they're really trying to do is eventually get Wayland support working because Xmonad of course was built to work with Xorg. I mean Xmonad started uh, probably 15 years ago way before Wayland was even thought about and Xmonad, the X in the name, is for X11, the Xorg server, right? And they really have never had a, a serious roadmap to get to Wayland until just in the last couple of years and now they're starting to get started on a new project called Waymonad so that hopefully when Wayland is ready 
you know, we can have X monad essentially on Wayland. But of course, that's going to require a lot of work, and, and they're asking for funding. And this is really why I'm making today's video, is they're asking for you guys to help support them. And what they're doing is they have opened up sponsorships over on GitHub, and they have a goal of they want 500 sponsors. And right now, it looks like they only have about 35 sponsors. And you guys, you can donate whatever you want. You can specify an amount. I mean, I, I, you could donate a dollar a month to them or whatever. They have uh, specific tiers here. $7 a month, $14 a month, $25 a month. And if you guys are really generous, $50, $250, or even $1,000 a month. And I have already uh, signed up over on GitHub, and I've donated uh, monthly to them. I've went ahead and signed up for a sponsorship. It's only fitting, right, because I use Xmonad on a daily basis. It's one of the things with free and open source software. I tell you guys, even if it's free as in free of charge, if it's something that you depend on you know, for work or just enjoyment, right? You really should contribute to the open source projects you use on a daily basis. That's why I like giving money to, in this case, Xmonad, uh, other projects that I often donate money to, especially as we get near to the end of the year. You'll see a lot of fundraising drives, and I like to donate to projects like GIMP and Caden Live, OBS, things like that, because these are actually pieces of free and open source software that I depend on to make a living. So if you guys can help out the Xmonad project, whether it be through code, whether it be through sponsorships, donations, those of you that have artistic skills, please help contribute artwork. Those of you that want to enter the logo contest, please do that. And of course, those of you that are Xmonad users, be on the lookout for version 0 0.17. It should hit your, your repositories any day now. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I'm thanking Devin, Gabe, James, Matt, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Akami, Alan, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Kurt, Dayoka, David, Dylan, Gregory, Heiko, Lee, Max, and Michael, Mike, Nitrix, Arian, Alexander, Peace Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Raver, Red Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode you just watched, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon.